So here's a problem where it gave us a slope and a point. So in this case, we're going to use something completely different in order to simplify into slope-intercept form, and that is using point-slope form. So in point-slope form, you have y equals, and then we have x minus, and then a plus right account. And the slope is still here in the front, uh, but the point happens right here. We'll have an x value and a y value from the point, okay? Now, in this one, we know the slope and the point value. Once we simplify this, though, we'll have this reduced into slope-intercept form. So notice everything is built around this. What is our slope? Negative 1. So I replace my slope with negative 1. What's my x value? 2. What's the y value in the point? 5. So now we have this set up in order to simplify it in the slope-intercept form, I'll multiply or distribute this negative 1 into the parentheses, giving us a negative 1x plus 2, and nothing else changes. So this is what we have now. So from here, we're just going to combine like terms, which is 2 and 5. And after we get this done, we're going to have already slope-intercept form. You'll see this. 2 plus 5 is positive 7. There it is. This tells us the slope from the equation and also the y-intercept. Now I use point-slope form. Some of you guys prefer to graph these. And that's fine as long as this is a integer value. Okay, So make sure if it's a fraction you're going to have to use point-slope form or even slope-intercept form which I'm going to show in the next example.